tonight we're at the men's basketball game versus Missouri, and uh, we're here doing a little promotion, trying to invite all the fans out to come here on Friday night and cheer on our team for the first meet ever in Bud Walton. How many shirts do you each want to throw out? Oh gosh, you want me to throw shirts? There's a reason I did gymnastics and not a ball sport. You'll see, you'll see why. So we're having our first ever meet inside Bud Walton Arena on Friday. We're so excited. And students, we need you guys. Will you be there? All right. We're gonna see how loud you can get. So we're gonna do some t-shirt toss. So get on your feet, get loud. Who wants a t-shirt? Jordan is literally the love of my life. I'm going to every single gymnastics competition there is. Catch me there every time. Jordan, I love you. The day has finally come. Uh, men's basketball just put a whooping on Missouri. I think 87 to 40 something. Uh, they're finishing up right now. We're gonna clear the floor. Then we're looking at you know anywhere from three to five hours of getting everything set up, all the equipment. Uh, if we gotta be here all night, we'll be here all night. Make sure we make this work and make sure that the, the first night in Bud is an incredible evening for Arkansas Gymnastics. To be able to perform in Bud Walton Arena, in the palace, and just to see that floor in a way that you've never seen it before, it's nicknamed the palace for a reason. I mean, it was pretty surreal to walk into Bud Walton for the first time and seeing it turned over for gymnastics. The emotions there for me were that I know just how much conversation and details that went into planning that, and you know, not even just since I've been here, but before that, how many, how many people needed to build the foundation that is this program for us to get to the point where we get the opportunity to have a meet inside Bud Walton Arena. walking in and seeing all the equipment and seeing how amazing everything looked and it just it felt like it fit. We just kept instilling in our team, you know, let's just be grateful that we get this opportunity. And I always feel like when our team competes with a mindset of gratitude, the gymnastics is always better. It's gonna be an amazing night. We're so excited, beyond grateful to be in here. So it's gonna be a good night. Good, tight knees. Good, easy, open, and go. It's, I mean, it's my first meet, so obviously I'm nervous. It's a whole different setting than J.O., and especially being at an SEC school and us competing in Bud for the first time. Like, I'm really excited, even though I'm a little bit nervous, but more excited than anything. Well, I obviously watched Leah, you know, over the past couple of years in her level 10 career, and. She, I, I'm, obviously I knew her gymnastics was really special and she's extremely talented, but more than that, I, I could tell that Leo is a special human being. I can tell when I look at her that, you know, she's been through a lot, but it's made her extremely strong. She carries herself, not as a freshman, but as a world-class gymnast who believes in herself. It, it's definitely something great to have on the team. Someone so young who is so poised. This is one of my favorites. She was featured in Inside Gymnastics after she won the Nastia Lukin. Both my husband and I are very proud of this article. This is uh, at the Simone Biles Invitational um, that, 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 that she has every year, but this is where she got her first 10 on floor. And we were super, super proud about that. So very, very happy about that. This is the Nastia. It's so heavy. This is the Nastia, the Nastia Lucan. 
first place all around. That God, this was so, this was so exciting when she won this. And then her trying to get this, remember when she was trying to get this home on the on the plane? Oh my God, it was so funny. I have this great picture of her trying to bring that home on the plane because literally it is about the size of Leah. That was the only way to get the trophy home was me holding it and stuff. I just held it the whole way home. Leah as a kid was always um, flipping around. Oh, perfect! She was on her head, on the stairs. <laughs> She'd do press handstands. She would just, <laughs> she was always, always just doing some type of flip. <laughs> when Leah was 11, uh, she just kept coming home and saying that she had um, back pain, like her back hurt. But everybody in gymnastics, if you ask any gymnastics parent, um, it's just like, okay, you know, our girls kind of live on Advil, and then it just kept coming back. I woke up one morning and there was like a little bit of like a sharp pain in my back. Something just felt weird, so then I just thought we should get it checked out. I remember this day clearly. We were in the room and we were just sitting there just laughing and you know, the doctor comes in and says, oh, you've got this condition called spondylolisthesis and you'll never do gymnastics again. The look on her face, she just cried, just cried and cried and cried. We started doing some research about it because I didn't know anything about, about that and I'm a doctor and um, wound up um, eventually finding uh, someone who was right here. He sat down with Leah and said, you know, what is it that you want to do? And she said, I want to do gymnastics. And then he said, okay, if you want, we can do this surgery. And oh my God, that's her. <laughs> well, she was in so much pain. She had to learn how to walk and, and, and it, was, it was just awful. And she was out of school for so long. He, and the doctor told us, he said, when she's ready, she will let you know. And she let us know. We ready, we ready, we ready for y'all. We ready, we ready, we ready for y'all. Who are we? Dim you know. Wow. It's big time. Welcome you inside Bud Walton Arena for the first time a gymnastics meet taking place inside the building they call the Basketball Palace of Mid-America. It's the Gymnastic Palace here tonight. Just a huge number for the crowd here, 10,345. Surpassing what you would see in Barnhill Arena. And, and I don't know, Sam, this is an environment that just kind of feels right, doesn't it? It's Definitely. It at all. I hope that's enough to show the administration that they should have meets here every single weekend. Gymnastics, let's go! When I walked into Bud Walton on Friday night, it was insane. I had the chills the whole time. It was so fun. Whenever they announced that we had the most fans that we've ever had, we've broken the record, it was just a crazy moment. Like. Myself and Jordan, we both looked at each other and we were like, like, no way, that's just so cool. Here is our first look in college at the terrific freshman from Spring, Texas, Leah Smith. Oh, that was good. For her first, her debut, that was awesome. <laughs> Off to a good start here, and after one rotation between Auburn and Arkansas. Yes, ma'am. But you don't gotta do nothing different than what you know how to do. Okay? Be sharp and patient at the end. Let's go. Sorry, 
Clark. And for Arkansas, they are also trying to rebound on bars. It begins with the sophomore, Jensen Scalzo. Good handstand position. Jaeger overshoot combination, nice distance away from that bar. Last looking week. to get a good solid start. They're looking to build these score throughout the lineup. Nice, dismount, and that's the way they're hoping to start things off in this second rotation. And trying to better her 9-1-5, which Arkansas had to count last week. I'd say she did it. I definitely think she did it. Good job. Maggie O'Hara now. This is who everybody has been excited to see on bars. A 9-8 last week in her season debut, but she finished fourth in this event at Nationals. First gym back to be a regular season All-American on bars as well. Good. Good stretch shape. Stunt landing. This might be a huge team bar score for Arkansas. It's definitely going to surpass their score last weekend. Come on, baby. You're the eat girl. The eat girl. Period. She got a 10. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love my knee so much. She got a 10. Wow. Beautiful. Fire emoji. Hard eyes everywhere. and you know they bring it on that event. It really still is anybody's meet. 0 0.025, the tiniest of margins separating the Tigers and gym backs. All right, our final competitor of the night, Bailey Lovett, trying to close things out for Arkansas. Seven two five for Auburn, one ninety seven one five for the Jimbacks. Massive scores in just the second week of this season. They can win it all. They can do any. There's nothing Jordan and that coaching staff and that team can't do moving forward. There's no reason they can't get any gymnast coast to coast to want to come to Arkansas, and that team is right now so talented. The sky is the limit. There's nothing it can't do. There's no reason why Jordan and that coaching staff can't lead the gym backs eventually to a national championship. Beautiful. Floated in the sky. And now, oh. 
on the floor. Going up in the second meet of the season and going above 197 was, you know, that's, in my opinion, right where we need to be at this point. But not to mention just being an arena with 10,000 fans, I mean, that's, that's every SEC arena. That's SEC championships. That was a great mental training opportunity for our team. I think you're going to look back at that in a decade, two decades, and say that was the day that Arkansas Gymnastics got put on the map. That was the day that new fans grew for the program. That was the day that people realized there's a reason we have over 10,000 people coming to watch this team. You know, when Arkansas Gymnastics continues to climb in the top 10 and hopefully toward that number one ranking in the country in the next couple years, you're going to look back at that day and say, I remember the day that this team got put on the map. We're just getting started up from here. Scoring a 197 in our second meet was absolutely incredible and I believe there's huge things to come for this incredibly talented team.